Hey guys, it's Rob the Barbecue Pit Dog Channel. Hey, I don't know if you remember, but last month I won a giveaway from Big Blue Barbecue. I will stick an eye card up there just to remind you. And also a link to Big Blue's channel. Um, I won his giveaway. I got some of this Cajun Pit Stick. Pit Sticks. Sorry about that. Cajun Barbecue Rub. And I got the handcrafted Cajun pit sticks, which is kind of use this like tongs. You hook your food and flip it around. Uh, I've been practicing a little bit. I think it's time I cook some uh, chicken. Got the pit barrel cooker fired up back there. And uh, about to go in the kitchen. Put some of this mesquite barbecue rub. I got some boneless chicken breasts. We'll cook them up on the pit barrel cooker and we'll give this a taste test see how it turns out i'm excited to try this i love trying new things and i have not tried this one yet so the cajun pit sticks mesquite barbecue rub get you some all right see ya cooker fired up. She's good and hot. Ooh, yeah. Now I'm gonna go ahead pull this grate out. If you're using mesquite barbecue rub, I got a couple pieces of supposed to be mesquite wood chunks that I got. So I'm throwing out here in the fire. Hopefully we get some flavor off that also. There's the chicken that we put the rub on. Look at that, man. That looks good already. You want to eat it like that, don't you? Nah, I better cook it first. Put them on here. Probably gonna let them go about 45 minutes. And then come out, check the temperature on them, give them a flip. Flip them with my handcrafted Cajun pit sticks. Just came directly from Big Blue Barbecue in Louisiana. Put them bad boys and flip them. 
let's let them go for a little bit, about 45 minutes, and uh, we'll come check them out. We'll be back in a minute. Alright, it's been 45 minutes. Let's check this. Wow, that chicken has great color on it. I want to see what the temperature is on it though. I'm sure it's not done yet. Let's see what it has on that big one right there. Wow, it is done. Man, I'm totally surprised. Look at that. This large one is up to... Well, oh, there we go. Now we're only at 160 in that part. I'm still gonna flip them and let them go. I don't know, maybe 10 more minutes. Cause I gotta use my cage and pit stick. All right, check it out. Woo, check that out, that was easy. Oh yeah, that looks good. Look at that. Look at that. All right, I'm gonna flip these. Whoop, I lost that one. They look good though. I'm gonna go about 10 minutes. Pull them off, we'll get us a taste test. I hear Duke out there barking already. He's ready, so. These are looking good. Cooking faster than I expected, so. We'll get them off here in a minute. Do us a taste test. chicken uh, I got in the house here it's getting so dark outside got a thunderstorm rolling in but man this looks good hope you can see it I got a little added light the light here in my kitchen is not very good but uh, you know I, I use the uh, avocado oil as a binder for the Cajun pit sticks Kind of hard to see there. The mesquite barbecue rub. And this chicken looks awesome. It actually cooked quicker than normal because I usually hang boneless chicken breasts in the uh, pit barrel cooker, hang them on the hooks. But this time I left them on the rack or on the grate and you know, heat rises, so I believe that the uh, the top of the pit barrel cooker is definitely hotter than the bottom, even though the fire is down here. Think about it, really. So, anyway, I'm going to take some of these, slice them up, and uh, probably go back outside and do a taste test. Because Duke's wanting a bite, so we're going to have to go back outside. So, let me slice some of these up, and we'll go outside and do a taste test and let you know what this is like.
taste test in here. It looks good. Mmm, very good. That chicken is tender and juicy. The rub, the main ingredient, or the first ingredient is sugar. It's got a sweet and a little bit of a spicy taste to it, which I like. This is very, very good. Thank you, Big Blue. I appreciate it. Trying to get the flies out of here. This is awesome. I'm going in for number two. Mm. I got Duke down here. Thanks again for watching. Today we use the Cajun Pit Sticks Mesquite Barbecue Rub with the Cajun Pit Sticks. Very good. Very, very good. Made some chicken. It's freaking awesome. You gotta try this. Any kind of chicken with this rub on there would be good. I don't care if you use boneless breast. Probably be great on some wings or a whole cut up chicken. Anyway, I appreciate you guys stopping by. I appreciate you supporting the Barbecue Pit Dog channel. And there's only one, one, uh, <laughs> only one thing left to do. I gotta give my buddy Duke a bite, so here we go.